So that's our agenda and what we have planned for today. We're really excited. Uh, let me introduce ourselves. First of all, uh, this voice belongs to Josh Grant. I'm the marketing director here at CypherWorks. And uh, my, some of my favorite work values that, that I strive for here with the company is seeing things differently. I love having fun and I'm obsessed with always reviewing how I work to see if there's a better way to do it. You can see my email below if you want to reach out to me directly. After today's presentation, I'd love to chat with any of you uh, regarding any of your questions. And uh, I'm going to turn the mic over to David so he can introduce himself. Hello everyone, this is David Hasley, your client success manager. Uh, thank you all for joining us today. And once we get going here, we'll be one of your, I'll be one of your resources to help um, maximize our solutions to help you overcome your goals. Our team has been working tirelessly to bring this new platform to life for you. And we're really excited to be able to give you a sneak peek uh, before this goes live. So I'm going to draw your attention to some of the key benefits and the main reasons why we went through this redesign. One of the primary things that we set out to do was to make sure that our LMS served our clients and served the customers who are, who are using it in a mobile fashion. What that required is that we made it easier to navigate, especially on a mobile device, and that we made it load faster and that we were able to create it in a way that admins were able to monitor, maintain, and build from mobile devices as well. What this allows our clients to do is become more active and more effective in maximizing their employee performance through the LMS. So I'm gonna draw your attention right now to the design. This is the landing page that if you come here to register or log in, you'll see that it's a clean design. If you wanna share this landing page with friends, once you have access to the redesign, it's a great place for them to get a quick idea of what we offer in the LMS. You'll see that one of the things that we're including in the landing page is an option for people to try it for free. So the main homepage that you'll see, once you log into the LMS, is a section called My Courses. You'll see, again, talking about the design and its clean layout and ease of navigation, there's a lot of white space to help you focus on what matters. So you're not spending a lot of time looking for the content you came in here, you're actually spending time learning and growing with the content that you've placed in here. So I'm gonna draw your attention uh, to some of the modifications we've done towards the navigation. Let's start with the navigation bar up here. Now again, this LMS for your organization is totally customizable. If you want your logo here, you can do that. If you wanna change the color, you can also do that. If you wanna modify uh, any of these features here on the left-hand side, you can do that. And we'll go more into that. You can actually make the navigation more simplistic than it appears even now. This little hamburger menu icon right here toggles on and off the titles for these icons. You can see that the titles pop up when I mouse over them, but if you want to display them up fully, you can. You'll notice the logo for the LMS or the organization that's using the LMS is located here. I'll show you how you can easily change that out. And we have a pretty comprehensive search or an all-purpose search here. This search, as you can see, outlines the different areas that you can search, courses, events, learning paths and assessments or other tools that we'll talk about. But this general search comes in handy, especially when you're coming in here and you have perhaps a large catalog of courses that you have to search through and you just want to find them quickly. This little icon of the bell should be familiar to most of you who are using uh, a lot of modern social platforms. This is a notification center and you will have updates for courses or events or training events or certain required materials or uh, tasks that you would like your employees or learners to have completed. You'll see all those notifications come up here and that includes desktop notifications, that includes in-system notifications, email notifications as well. This little user icon here is customizable, but for your profile as a learner, you're gonna see everything that you need here 
can modify the picture in the background. You can upload your actual picture here. You can view your profile, all your learner or employee transcripts. You can even add additional outside training to the LMS. So let's say you go to a conference for professional development and you want credit for that. If, you're, if your admins or the organization allows that, you'll be able to come here easily and load that training in here and have it tracked and reported for purposes of, of reporting. Shopping cart is if you're gonna become a reseller or you're using this LMS to provide it to other end consumers, you're gonna to wanna to take advantage of the shopping cart feature so that learners who are coming to your site that you're hosting are able to check out courses right here within their profile. And of course, there's a link for us to log out. So I just covered the top end navigation here where it's quite, it's quite easy to navigate. But here's something I wanna show you. We set out to design this LMS as mobile as possible or as mobile friendly as possible. So you'll see as I begin to modify my browser size, this LMS is designed to work on mobile devices. So you can see that the, the, the navigation menu up here compresses and off to the left hand side, that little menu here compresses all your other modules and features, allowing you to toggle them on and off. And depending on the size of the device that you're using, perhaps a tablet, you'll see those modules reappear. Or if you're using a very narrow smartphone, you'll see them disappear. But as you can see, the courses and the dashboard are all kept intact. The one we're on right now is My Courses, which is the primary landing page when you open the LMS. When you come here, you have an immediate snapshot of where you stand as a learner in your organization. You have the number of courses that you have. You have the number of events that you're registered for. You have the number of tasks or courses completed. And CEUs, for those of you who perhaps that term is new, that's Certified Education Units. Uh, that is a specific measure of clock hours that is approved through ISET, which is an international training accrediting body. And of course, clock hours, which for many of our customers, they're required, to, they're required to record the number of training clock hours. And again, one of the primary reasons that we have modified our LMS is to make reporting easier than ever. So from an admin's perspective or a user's perspective, you're gonna see uh, some of those reporting features in a bit, but the purpose of this uh, little, little dashboard is to help you know exactly where you stand and if there's outstanding requests or what your current accomplishments are. Organizing this array of courses, if you will, has been changed quite a bit from the original LMS. Uh, you're able to organize them alphabetically or even by the date of expiration or perhaps by the value according to the number of CEUs that are awarded. You'll see in this drop down menu, you can uh, actually filter all of the courses or all of the, the boxes here that contain some sort of task based on the type of task. So if it's just events I wanna view, I can quickly and easily filter events out without having to scroll down or search for that specific event. I can organize this based on my progress with the course, whether I've got all the ones that I've completed or perhaps I'm looking at ones that I haven't started yet. Or maybe I need to go back and look at all the ones that I need to retake. This makes navigating uh, a lot of courses, which some of our clients have a lot of courses that, are, that they've required their learners to take. It allows for a very easy user experience to get exactly where they need to go. So less time is spent navigating and more time is actually spent accomplishing the goals that are set before them. There's also a general search where you can search uh, via title or, or via description or even via date. And again, you'll see there's a little menu item here that allows you to modify how you view the courses. You can do it in panes or in like an image layout, or you can do it in a list layout. But again, to draw attention to how a course is displayed here, you've got the title, an expiration date, the number of credits that are allowed, it could be listed as CEUs or clock hours. And then of course, the ability to take the course, remove the course, or actually add notes. As you can see, as I scroll down, 
Once I get towards the bottom of my browser, if you see my scroll bar on the right hand side, you'll see a quick little loading sequence where once I've come to the end of the courses, because there's many courses here, what ends up happening is all the rest of the courses that are in the My Courses catalog auto populate. This is a simple thing, but when you're on a when when you are on a mobile device, it allows the individual page and what needs to be shown load much faster. So this is something that we change uh, from our old course catalog feature that allows it to dynamically load, which makes the loading sequence is much faster for our learners. So if I want to add this course, American with Disabilities Act and Transition Plans, all I have to do is click Learn More. And here's the page I tried to show you before. The title, the image for the course, and the general description. Whether the course comes with the certificate, which by the way, we'll talk more about how our LMS produces uh, custom certificates. And I can view more details of the course, if there's a price associated with it, and I just click add to my course, I'm added a prompt. And once I click add to course, you can always go back to my courses and you'll see that that course, American with Disabilities Act and Transition Plans is added right in there. Catalog is a pretty seamless experience and very easy to find the required content. Again, you can organize the content. Perhaps you wanna see what the newest courses are or perhaps the newest events that are being offered. They're all located right here and able to be easily searched. You can also view the categories of catalogs that have been allowed for your organization. So when I click admin tools, uh, we have general tools, we have course tools, we have reporting tools, and then there's custom tools. So this LMS site, how do I modify it and make it work for me and my learners? It's quite simple when you open this up, you'll see you wanna change the name which is the URL, as you can see up at the top of my screen here, I'll highlight it and leave it for a second. This is the specific URL, um, but the actual site name, and when you get emails and registrations, you'll see uh, the name of your choice located in both the URL, which you can change that all together, or uh, when there's an autofill for an email or a notification uh, or even event, you'll see the name change there. You can change your color, your primary color. And if you want us to auto-generate based on the palette you've chosen, we can do that. Or you can toggle the on and off switch and add the color of your choice. So if you have specific brand colors that you want to add to this site and change it, you totally can with just the click of a button. You can change your site logo easily by just choosing a file from your computer. And you can toggle the social features, or the social tools that we mentioned are located on the left-hand navigation bar. So if I don't want people in my organization to see who else is in the site and is a member, I can simply toggle that off and save the feature and this will go away. If I don't want them to have the ability to add additional training, say if you recall, the user icon has the ability for someone to add additional training and request approval for some sort of professional development or training experience they have, or maybe perhaps some past experience if they're a new hire, if I don't want that to be something that's allowed, I can easily toggle that on and off. Perhaps maybe I want it on, but I want to do approval for each training that's submitted. I could do that. Or if I don't want to be bothered with having to do approval for all types of extra training, I can turn it off. We've talked about how you can change the email domains and the, the logout URL, which is when I log out of this system, you're gonna have the ability to modify those. You'll see that you can change the login form. If you recall when I first logged in and I mentioned that you can change that whole page, including the background and colors and font, this is where you would do that. If you went and you were a new learner, you'd, get to, you'd go to a similar page and you'd also be able to modify that registration page as well. But these social learning tools that add a lot of value, you can change them and modify them here. So Discussions is a social learning platform. We'll talk a little bit about that in a second. But this is where you can start threads on certain topics, maybe best practices, or maybe even ideas of how to use and leverage the LMS. You can 
disable this altogether and that option will disappear. The module itself will disappear from the left-hand navigation menu, or you can limit it to administrators. So maybe administrators are collaborating on how best to use the system or how best to encourage other learners to leverage the system, et cetera. Uh, or you can leave it totally open and then actually make some more limitations or modifications within the system itself. You can do that for events. You can do that for resources, which is a file sharing tool, or even Teams, which is a way to segment learners in your organization to easy manage spaces. If you're experiencing a moment where you need to make a modification to your site and you're not at your computer, but you want to do that immediately, or say you're making an approval or inviting someone uh, or modifying the message for the registration for the site, you can do that easily from your phone, which means that you can get back to doing the work that matters most instead of dedicating time to always monitoring and managing and maintaining a system. Let's go right back to some of these other tools here. So adding users in bulk or individual is something that is quite easy to do. And again, something you can do easily from a mobile device. Let's look at notifications really quick. You can enable notifications to go to the mobile device or actually on the desktop of the learner or yourself. You can choose to have sounds as company these and it can be for admins or for additional learners. Imagine that you'd like uh, to be notified on a daily basis of what learners are doing what in the LMS. If you check this box, all the admins or the admins who would like to can receive daily emails detailing who has actually been engaging with the LMS. Uh, and it can go as far as courses taken or perhaps their progress in a learning path, which we can talk about a little bit later. Other notifications that you can add for learners is course assignments. If you assign a course to them and you want them to be notified, you can click this and make sure that they get that via email or via a push, push notification or a notification in the site. So as a learner, if I'm notified about a course, it's gonna show up right here and it will show up in my email. If you'd like them to receive notifications no matter what, you just click these little lock boxes and now learners cannot toggle on or off if they're going to receive notifications. Whether they like it or not, they're going to be notified. Even when a course is completed, you can be notified of when that's done as, a, as an admin or especially useful if you want to notify learners of expiration dates, you can do that as well. What is the message you want to write? You can write a custom message for them. And do you have a specific link that you want them to attend to? Maybe it's an article that you want them to read online or a specific page that they have to have visited and register in for some sort of outside learning or compliance related thing. You can set up when you want them to receive this message or this notification. And you can select even down to very specific groups within the organization that you want to have receive this. So you can also see the type of histories that have, of notifications that have been sent out. And then of course, if you wanna send expiration date reminders, that neat feature we looked at before, you can send notifications to let them know that certain courses are expiring, whether one day, two day, three days before, or even up to several weeks before. So assigning courses, all you do is follow three steps. You select the course you wanna assign. You select the learners which is done right here through this section here. You can do all learners. If you want to change that, you can assign by group. Uh, or if you have learners who once were part of the organization and are no longer part of the organization because they've moved on or no longer with them, you can select active only and it'll automatically assign to active learners. Then you go to step three, you review your final assignment you can export this list if you'd like, make final modifications. If someone quickly says, oh, I've already taken this course, I don't need to take that, you can remove them with the click of a button. After the time that it's been assigned, you can choose the number of days that they have to complete it. So let's say someone comes in uh, and they're a, new, they're a new employee and you have your new employee orientation located in this LMS and you want them to complete some documents that are required for it, within two days of their hiring, they can do that right here. And you can choose what kind of notifications to send if you have standard ones or even a custom message. And that's if you're doing it manually. There are tools here that allow you to do it automatically. If you have 
individual learners that you would like to assign courses to automatically, you can use our assessment tool. You can use the assessment tool for something as simple as finding out what courses are required. You can take an inventory and have them take this assessment and find out what sort of areas that they're strong in, what kind of areas that they might need some growth in. If you use this and you assess what an employee is good at and their strengths or their needs, you can then assign certain courses to be assigned to them based on the response of their answers. So what you have now is a dynamic course assignment tool. Learning Paths is another course tool that we could spend a lot of time on. It could be a new employee orientation that everyone is automatically assigned this learning path, which would include a set of courses or assessments or discussions that you have to hold or articles that you have to read. You can list all of those different uh, items inside these learning paths, which again makes it easier for you to one and done assign a path, a training, a training plan, a program advancement, uh, or even specific items that you feel like your employees should just have. Certificates are important for a specific reason. This tool lets you automatically generate a certificate after a course and automatically send it to the, you know, the contact information that you want. If you wanna create uh, certifications around certain practices or knowledge bases, this is a great way to do that. I wanna look at just the main reporting feature with us. So you can see that the data is current. So if I hit refresh, it's gonna ask me if I wanna pull in overnight data, and I'm going to do that. And it's going to quickly pull that information for us, but it's pulling anything from registration information, down to specific articles, even discussions. You'll see that you have an option to filter it based on a couple different types of, of categories, whether you're looking at a full overview, learners, e-learning courses, events, all the way to specific assessments that maybe you've, you've assigned. You can select the scope. You can do all learners or you can do specific groups. You can select specific date spans or search for very specific things such as an individual learner, uh, maybe an individual team, courses, or perhaps a specific type of additional training. Quick reporting overview. How many courses have, have, have not been attempted? How many have been failed? all the way up to how many courses are passed and how many are incomplete. You can see the number of registered learners, the number of courses assigned, live training events. And one of the things that we have in the roadmap, you can also see that there's a timeline which shows you completions. So reporting really gives you a lot of great answers. Last thing I wanna show right here is custom reports. If you don't find a report that you saw in there that you thought was perhaps what you wanted, you can build it with a few clicks. Say I want uh, to find every learner and I want to reward them based on the number of course clock hours that they have. It's as simple as clicking those two items and now I've got all the learners and you can see the course hours. But course feedback is something that you can initiate after every single course. You can ask questions about that course and get feedback on whether it's valuable, what modifications might be needed. And once that feedback is, is logged, you'll see right here that you, of course you can export it as, as a file, but the real value is being able to click on this link right here and see the specific feedback. Our whole purpose and in, in, in point of, of our LMS is to help you uh, perform the very best and actually focus on what matters for your organization. And we wanna take off uh, a lot of the burden of the busy work and the administrative work that is easily taken care of by some automation and some of the powerful features that we've implemented in our LMS. And we want to be able to show you what's working for your organization through powerful reporting and effective reporting so that you can follow up in a timely manner and make adjustments on the go so that you know the absorption and the, the use and the leverage of the system is top notch.